Anyone for fishing on Enceladus? Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, might be home to some form of subsea alien life. Might being the key word. Scientists looking at data pulled from NASA's Cassini spacecraft may have found how Saturn's ocean moon Enceladus remains geologically active. The research suggests that tidal currents flow through the moon's porous core, where the friction between rocks generate heat that warms the ocean. According to the European Space Agency, this tidal heating is primarily caused by the gravitational pull of Saturn. NASA previously said this particular moon has all the ingredients needed for life to exist. In 2008, the space agency speculated that the deep sea vent theory could apply to life on Enceladus. When applied to Earth, this suggests life originated from chemical, heat, and tidal interactions beneath the seabed. The truth is out there, somewhere. A nearby star is emitting weird radio waves. A star close to our solar system was found last week to be playing some pretty weird jams on the radio. Well, not exactly. The Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico discovered peculiar radio signals coming from the star Ross 128 in the Virgo constellation. Scientists say the reason for this could be one of three things. The signals could have originated from a solar flare, from something else passing in front of the telescope's view of Ross 128, or it could simply be a radio burst from a high-orbit satellite. Researchers say the recurring hypothesis that aliens are behind the signal is at the bottom of many other explanations. So it's probably not E.T. or the Death Star, Spock or the Saiyans. Better call the alien welcome party, for now. This is KIC 876-2852, aka Tabby Star. Since October 2015, it had space buffs lit with speculation that it's an alien super science. Except, it's not. Dyson spheres are theoretical cosmic megastructures. They envelop a planet with energy-absorbing technology which directs power to a central location. Some astronomers previously theorized the dimming of Tavi star was caused by this. This star is located 1,280 light-years from Earth. New research using data from NASA's Spitzer and Swift Space Telescopes suggests the dimming is actually due to a dust cloud orbiting the star. Known as circumstellar dust, NASA says these particles are not small enough to fly into space, but also not big enough to block light all the time on all wavelengths. But they can't be absolutely positively sure, so we're still holding out for the Death Star. Stargazers to attempt alien communication in 2018. A group of space-gazing dudes are gonna try and communicate with aliens, but some reckon it might doom us all. A group known as Messaging Extraterrestrial Intelligences, or METI, will in 2018 attempt to message alien life. According to CNET, most concur the message should consist of physics and math, as these are forms of knowledge aliens likely hold in common with humanity. However, many scientists, including Stephen Hawking, worry that such a message could put Earth in danger. Previous attempts to communicate with alien civilizations have included sending out the formula for alcohol and Craigslist advertisements. But if anything, let's hope they don't beam up a YouTube comments section. Huh, we'd be insta-vaporized for sure. Alien hunters detect radio signals from distant galaxy. Scientists searching out alien life were presented with a new hope last month when their equipment picked this up. This is a radio burst from another galaxy. Writing the astronomer's telegram, scientists reported 15 fast radio bursts detected from a dwarf galaxy some 3 billion light years from our own. Scientists suggest the bursts may have come from a magnetar, which is a rotating neuron star with a strong magnetic field. Researchers also speculate that the bursts may originate from alien laser technology used to propel and power spacecraft, like wind powers sails on a ship. That theory is similar to Breakthrough Starshot, an initiative aimed at propelling nanocraft to Proxima Centauri with Earth-based lasers. Whatever they come from, researchers say that those signals began traveling from their galaxy over 10 billion years ago, when ours wasn't even 2 billion years old. Or, in other words, it happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away.